Right, welcome back to part uh, 18, 17, I can't remember, but whichever part it is, welcome back. Um, yeah, indicators, not really sure on those ones and judging by the comments, I think a few people are in agreement with me. Perhaps they're a bit too techy looking for this, this particular build, um, but perhaps there's a real badass solution to this. Now they were a bit too long for an indicator, but indicator come footrest. You see, look at that. And I think, you know, they're long enough for a foot peg. They look fit quite nicely on the mounting pegs there. I think it's a, a, a badass addition to my badass brat style bike. Um, and you know, sort of functional as well. So there we go, problem solved. Not really, no. Um, these I think are, they're just too long, too techy looking and they're, although they're free because I've already got them, I think they're going to go back in the parts bin and just thinking ahead, as I said, there is Project Bonneville Love coming, coming up soon. Um, a few ideas and changes possibly to that, that old beast. Not sure about the flat bars yet. But um, I was thinking about the little projector indicators, and I've always fancied mounting them in the at the frame rails. At the end, there's two like plastic bungs in the back of the frame rails. You can pop them out, and that'd be a good place to put the indicators. So um, I think I'll probably put them. If I decide to get those, I'll probably put those in the back of the frame rails, and. Um, um, possibly use the egg indicators off the Bonneville on this project but um, yeah in the meantime just messing around I have got the foot peg bracket and that's what it, it was like with all that on there um, but I've chopped all the tabs off sanded it all, uh, ground it all down, drilled a hole through so I think I'm either going to fit the stump pegs on there um, they're not super grippy I might have a look on flea bay or or something to see if I can get um, some cheap eye replacement rear set pegs and um, put those on instead so that's one done let's get on with the next one There we go, two footrests um, chopped down and then mounting holes drilled in. So that's good, that's those away. So I've just got to uh, either decide if I'm going to use these things or just get some, I mean I might even get some Hong Kong styly um, billet, uh, aluminium kind of racing pegs sort of thing. They're not, you know, you can pick them up for eight quid or something delivered um, see so uh, yeah I might put those on but um, there lovely job a little bit more progress on that um, so yeah next uh, next job what's that what is that okay um, back in the shed the first half of the video um, I filmed yesterday morning and then um, was out riding sort of most of the day and in the evening so um, I've had to slice this into two days so this is two sittings um, but back in the shed now and um, before I started just wanted to do a big shout out to yet another fantastic YouTuber who's helped me out on this project um, Chaos Theory you absolute star this morning knock at the door hand delivered the stoplight that's going on the SR project Fantastic, um, what an absolute start. Um, absolutely mint, surplus requirement. He sought me out with this, so that, that's fantastic. And again, hand delivered, what a star. Um, really appreciate that, really great to meet you as well, mate. Um, brilliant, so that's, that's what's happening today. Um, the, the other light which I kind of mount, was looking at mounting underneath the seat, um, although it looked pretty cool, um, 
that didn't leave much room on full compression and with wheel clearance and whatnot. Um, so it's, it wasn't going to work. It looked cool, but it ain't going to work. And I don't want to start jacking up the rear end to accommodate that um, because I want to keep this quite sort of slammed and low. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of worked out actually. I think in the best because um, now I've got this, I can incorporate the number plate side mount and all this down low on the side of the bike and then again I'm going less less is more on this you know I want it clutter free you know as little kind of stuff very raw bare bones look to it so that's that's all going to work out much better uh, for that um, you'll notice the frame is no longer there Jen's taking it in the car today um, and be following up later to get that uh, I'll be welding that up um, so hopefully a large chunk of the welding will be done on it. I still haven't fully worked out what I'm going to do battery wise because I haven't decided what kind of battery I'm going to go with, whether I use the stock one or you know, look at getting something a smaller unit. Um, but hopefully I'll film that later before I upload all this so you'll see the, the finished frame bit. Um, yeah, so first order of the day then I grab is working on the old side mount. So, um, here we go. So, oh, just realised, um, don't really want to get too ahead of myself fabbing up the um, side mount because um, I haven't got the frame and everything to kind of bounce it off, you know, so um, I don't want to start drilling and cutting and then come mount it up to the rest of it and realise um, it doesn't fit. So, I'll hold on to that for a while. Um, I am going to finish up Jen's chain guard at the moment. Um, so, chop a bit of the length off there to that shape and um, marked out where I'm going to put some 20 mil holes along the top and then when that's done have a look at the side see what I fancy punching off there I've already chopped off those tabs and given it just one quick coat of black just because um, I don't know I just find it easier to see what's going to happen on that rather than the bare metal um, so right let's get on with that Okay, the chain guard's finished. Not an awful lot of difference, but um, just lobbed a, quite a chunk off the end there, so it's not quite so long. Um, holes along the top, a couple of holes along the side there. Um, cleaned it all up again with a bit of thinners, so it's um, ready to get some of the old tough black on. So I'll go and hang that up on the washing line now and give that a few coats, but uh, yeah. I think job done. I was wondering about maybe putting some mesh behind it, but I think I'm just going to leave it bare. I think so. Uh, you got all Dell's hard work there intact as well. So it's uh, a Delactus, I guess you could call it. Delactus Custom. Sounds quite exotic, doesn't it? Cool. Cool beans. Let's get it black.
go, the chain guard. Finish. Might give it a couple more coats. It's getting late now. Do you like your chain guard, Jen? I love my chain guard. Good girl. It's beautiful. I love my holes. Lovely. Okay. So, battery box. Um, that's still something that I haven't quite decided on. Uh, mainly because I can't. I would like to get a really small battery, as small as I can get away with, um, and hide it under the swing arm or discreetly go somewhere else. I don't find the normal size battery particularly ugly. Um, it's just that making a nice, good-looking battery box because it's going to be in that midsection of the bike. You're going to see it, so I don't want something that's, you know, a little bit shitty looking in there because you know your eye will be drawn to it. Uh, but I'm still not spending 40 quid on a on a battery box um, and have yet trying to find one that's going to fit anyway. And I still want to kind of make my own out of something uh, as cheaply as possible. So um, just had to nip up to Asda to get some cat food. Um, not for me, for the cat. And um, they had, by the counter, because it's camping season, mess tins um, or, you know, transier food cooking things, four quid, and I took a bit of a punt at four quid to see if they all fit the battery, and it should be easier if I... And they pretty much do, um, they're a perfect fit for that, although I'm thinking, cut the top off so it's square, and then because they come to one slightly smaller than the other one, I can do a nice cut and shut. So if you imagine two of these excuse me, two of those together, but with that top cut off flush and then a strap holding the battery in. Um, I could even use another one, cut and shut it and make a slightly reinforced tray. Um, so yeah, for four quid I'm, I'm willing to have a bit of a hack up with those. Um, see what we get with the first ones. Um, if not, I've got you know a couple of handy storage tins. So um, yeah, let's give that a little bit of a bit of a tinkle. Right, it's getting on in the evening now. Uh, been pretty much all day um, doing bits and bobs. I'm filming a few bits for another video which is coming will be coming up soon. Um, so I'm pretty much wrapping things up now. I'm hot and I'm exhausted and uh, yeah I need to just have a bit of time away to work things out. But here we go. The um, the mess tins I'm still messing around with <laughs> boom boom. Um, obviously that'll be chopped there something along those lines or I mean I was thinking oops yeah, let's put you down I was thinking something along the lines of um, let's get this right Kind of looks a bit, oops, sorry. Kind of looks a bit neater. Again, just ignore that. But um, might be a bit of a wiggle to get the battery out, and that increases the size of it a little bit. So yeah, I've, uh, 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 and I'm still thinking it's is it possibly a bit large. The battery itself, um, yeah, still got to think on this one. But that's spooks. Um, Although I didn't film it, I've had have got the frame welded up. Um, you need to tidy up the welds a little bit, but that's all on there, good and beef. So the frames good and ready to. I mean, I've got to decide what I'm going to do. Well, let's take there. Decide what I'm going to do in terms of a bracket and 
battery or wh whatever the heck's going to go somewhere around here. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I am leaning towards one of these smaller batteries I can mount on its arse or sideways, whatever, you know, somewhere smaller and more discreet. Um, but what I can do now is um, drill my holes. I've already got the two there, two there, and then line them up with the seat pan, drill the holes there, drop some bolts through that, and then resin over the top of the bolts so they'll stay in place. So that can then be screwed underneath there, and when that's done, then I can go and see my mate, get the foam, and start cutting that out and shaping it. Not a hell of a lot of shaping to do on that one. Um, so the seat will be getting a little bit closer. So it's all, all little things, these little 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 jobs that are bringing it all a little bit closer to uh, looking like a bit more of a final product. But as I said, I'm, I'm just beat now today. I'm finished, done. So um, yeah, until next time. Um, there's loads of chopping and changing with this video, so I'll, I'll go inside now, have a cold beer and um, upload it and chop it all together but um yeah thanks for watching until next time take it easy